Do you know the best settings for your DTF printer? We're talking about color rich, high quality, detailed prints. Now we already know, DTF Station produces the best direct to film printing equipment on the market today. That's why All American's so proud to partner with them. Well today, we're tuning these machines up to run even better. So if you're running into color vibrancy issues, or maybe you want to get a little more oomph from your colors, or you just want to see the insane difference these color adjustments will make in the print, stick around, drop a thumbs up, and let's get started. Today we're going to be tuning up one of my favorite new printers from DTF Station, the Prestige XL3. Now, this machine is unique in that it's going to be delivering our prints with a nine color system. We're talking about traditional CMYKW, as well as the implementation of red, green, blue, and orange to open up an entirely new color gamut. And she's pretty fast. At 24 inches wide, with sellable resolutions, we can project a print between 60 to 80 square feet an hour. Now before we dive in and make our back-end adjustments, let's go ahead and run a normal print with factory settings. This way you can see it before and the after. Here we have all the factory settings for Hosensoft. Now let's go ahead and open up DigiRip, and now we can bring in our design. Let's size it up. And now to select our resolution. Now today as a control, we're gonna be going with the production resolution of 720 by 1800, and we're gonna send the job. We chose this resolution as the medium setting out of the three for balance. Other options do include 720 by 1200 or speed res, as well as 720 by 2400, which is high res. Now we can get this powdered up and cured. Stick around at the end when we compare these factory setting prints to our new ones with modified adjustments. Like we said, these things run great out of the box, but just because something's great, doesn't mean it can't be improved. Ready to see what a couple quick adjustments can make? Comment down below if you're ready to try this at home. Now for those of you who don't already own a DTF station printer, there are actually two programs that control operations, DigiRip and Hosensoft. Now DigiRip is how I run the machine and manage production through the available queues like you saw before. Hosensoft's gonna be more for the back end. If we click over here to the enclosure setting, change our mode to custom, we're gonna run with an 80% setting. This is how we increase the amount of dots laid down to get richer colors. However, because of the increased output, we may see longer print times. So what do we do? This little feature right here is called auto jump. If we switch this over to type together, instead of the print head moving back and forth the entire length of the machine, it will now only travel the distance needed to produce the image being printed. This will help us make up for longer print time. Let's go ahead and set this to together. Now that we've gone ahead and adjusted our back end settings, let's go ahead and take that same file, same resolution, same print queue, and see if we can check out the difference. Now before we send this next print, let me reiterate again, the adjustments we just made will give you more vibrant prints, and we've also fine tuned the operation for more efficient prints, time wise. Now these adjustments can be applied across the entire fleet of DTF station printers, from the entry level R1, all the way up to the big XL4. We chose to run this demonstration with the Prestige XL3 for its expanded color range. Now, if you're working with high profile accounts who are demanding the very best, or maybe you're a screen printer with established clientele looking for that color accuracy, this machine can handle the volume with quality and quantity. Time to print. Same as before, let's bring in our design, size it up, and select our resolution. Let's send the job. I'm pretty freaking excited to see the difference here in print quality. All right, we got our two prints. Let's take a look at some of the differences. So immediately upon inspection, there is a very apparent boldness difference or vibrancy discrepancy between the two prints. Not to say that this one that we printed first with the factory settings looks bad by any means. You can definitely see what red, green, blue, and orange add to the mix as far as that color range hitting those tones, especially in comparison to the regular file. But if you compare it to the increased enclosure and with that time jump, even with the added amount of dots that are being laid down to produce these prints, I didn't see a crazy difference speed-wise. And had we had this hooked up to a powder machine, hands-free, automated, roll-to-roll -roll production, I think the difference would have been very negligible, especially when you consider the difference in quality. So specifically, as we look at this, I'm seeing richer hues and more boldness, particularly in the darker colors, but it's also applying to the reds and the oranges. All the different vibrancy parts here, 
If we look around the eyes in particular, those different notes and shades around the eyelid, basically everything above the eye in that forehead area, you can see a visible difference in boldness. We did run the same file, same resolution, same quality setting in DigiRip. The only changes was to the enclosure. Again, by laying down additional dots, the accuracy, the vibrancy, when you pair that with the nine color system on the XL3, it's just a beautiful cornucopia of colors that we have here. Another area of visible difference in the two prints is gonna be in the darker areas of the graphic. Now, I'm not talking necessarily about the black or K ink elements, but rather as it transitions into the lighter colors. Here you can see more of a true variance where it's not really washed out, the darks look as much as a black tone as they can, but as they ease into those lighter colors, the vibrancy, again, I'm gonna keep going back to that, it's just a very noticeable difference. This is gonna be satisfactory for nine out of 10 jobs, but if you are trying to match that color accuracy, trying to hit those Pantones, adding in red, green, blue, and orange, that's how we achieve that. There's a limited range as far as what CMYK can produce. However, with the implementation of those additional four colors, not only will you see increased accuracy, but as you can see, the vibrancy here speaks for itself. I'm super excited with how both of these prints came out and the stunning colors from the XL3. At 24 inches wide, this is truly the high-end industrial printer with the results that cannot be denied. So if you've been looking for bolder and more vibrant prints, it might just be time for a tune-up. Now remember, all the settings we adjusted in the back end can apply to virtually any DTF station printer. Comment down below if you're gonna give these settings a try and how they work out for you. We also got a link in the description down below to click to sign up for your free live in-person demonstration or virtual walkthrough on all of our DTF equipment. That's pretty much gonna wrap it up for this one. My name is Estevan, we're all Mega Print Supply. We'll see you in the next one.